Good afternoon, good to know that you're joining us and welcome to the Perfect Health Show brought to you by Dynalab International Zambia Limited. I'm so happy this afternoon smiling because yes. it's raining. It's beautiful weather. Ah, beautiful I'm loving weather. this. It's making me sleepy though. I haven't slept. Don't even go there. <laughs> I don't know. Don't even go there. It's They're making not me sleepy. Sleeping. I think after this we need to have a nice cup of coffee. Ah. Just to energize and wake us up. I know, right? Yeah. I think I think let's have that. Somebody get us some coffee, please. Dynalab has this very nice coffee. Yes, so the classic for like, Tima. Yeah. It's perfect for the weather. So why should we complain? Yeah. Alright, so welcome to today's show. And on the show today I have been joined by Dora. Now Dora is a nutrition and health consultant. So this morning, or rather this afternoon, we're looking see that's yes, what lack of, of sleep does yes <laughs> we're all lacking we're looking at lack of sleep we're looking at insomnia and well it seems i'm not the only one dora is not the only one yeah i think a lot of people are suffering from it like i'll just ask you real quick how many hours of sleep do you get a night usually you know like nowadays but it's, it, it wasn't the case before mm -hmm. but of late i get to bed after midnight mm -hmm and i wake up around 3 a.m to 3 a.m and when i do that i felt to fall asleep afterwards mm -hmm. so i get up okay i'm not looking for food at that time but i try a bit <laughs> of tv i try i try to get myself back to sleep no, but, see, but it's that's not the wrong thing but we'll talk about that mm. um i also suffer from terrible insomnia i think um the last time i had a full night's sleep was probably last year and i'm one person who needed a minimum of nine hours so is it problems no, we'll is it the food that, that we're eating? That's what we're going to talk yeah, about. Yeah, so that's what we're looking that's at what we're going to this talk afternoon. About. So basically, we're looking at insomnia, which is um, a sleep disorder. Mm -hmm. Okay, where people, in short, when you're failing to sleep, then you know that you're suffering from insomnia. That is basically the signs and symptoms of it. So if you go to bed, for example, there are types of insomnia. There's the short term that maybe happens to you maybe one or two nights, okay? Mm. Maybe because you have a lot of things going on, a bit of pressure, you know, because there's mm. a lot of things are going on. Relationship issues. Yeah, all that, <laughs> you know, so maybe... <laughs> it's like you fell to sleep. You're failing to sleep because you're still waiting for a good night message from somebody. And it didn't come, so... So you have that. So that is like a very, uh, it's called transient insomnia. Mm. And then we have something that is called acute um insomnia mm -hmm. which can last for a few months okay i don't know which one you have well oh, mine and then is we have months. chronic pneumonia um uh, chronic pneumonia mm -hmm. <laughs> chronic yeah. insomnia which actually can last for years mm. so um if you've been failing to sleep i maybe you're suffering from short-term insomnia acute insomnia or maybe you have chronic insomnia all of these can cause a number of different problems to a person really yes okay so what are the causes maybe let's get to that so causes of insomnia vary from person to person okay um stimulating beverages for example caffeine mm. okay not the dynalab caffeine because mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. coffee is perfect but uh stimulating beverages like caffeine alcohol they can cause insomnia um problems of course stress mm. anxiety can cause insomnia certain medications can actually also cause insomnia as well as certain health factors mm. so if you've been suffering from insomnia or the inability to sleep for a certain amount of hours then you really do need to go and see a doctor don't um, put it aside as something that is normal because that is not normal your body gets to regenerate itself while you are sleeping because so that when is you the say, process yeah so when you say normal sleeping hours how many hours should i do is it still eight yes i'm working eight hours i'm sleeping eight hours yeah and how many hours do you have in a day mm. you see mm. so um a percentage of our lives should actually be spent sleeping because that's like i said that's when the body system now begins to regenerate itself mm. okay you know what I was thinking for me I was thinking maybe it's because during the day I'm taking that nap yeah so maybe Even that affects people certain sleeping patterns also affect people and can cause you to have um, difficulties in falling asleep for example if you're failing to sleep at night you're getting a two hours from midnight to zero two then you wake up you start watching TV you're up 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 to six seven kids go mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and then you get back into bed and now you want to sleep yeah. Do you know that your body is very, um, it's very easily programmed. They say if you do something for two weeks consistently, it becomes a habit. Mm -hmm. This applies to sleep as well. So if you're not sleeping or you're disturbing your sleep patterns, you're not getting enough sleep, 
um, then that can also affect your body in a certain manner. I didn't ask to wake up at 2 a.m. I had to go to the bathroom. So but then that's how you need to begin to train yourself. I try. I close my eyes yeah. when I get back to bed. But switch off the TV. Sometimes even the TV is off. Yeah. Lights off. I'm not even playing but music. But if you get yourself into a habit, for example, you tell yourself for the next two weeks, I'm going to go to bed at 22 hours. Mm. Okay. You can do certain things that will help to relax your body. You know, have a nice bath. You can have a nice cup of Ganadema chocolate, uh, hot chocolate from Dynalab, which is perfect for the weather. You make yourself a cup of that. Or you can take something like uh, the noni juice that we have that oh, helps also to calm helps. the nerves. Yes, that one also helps. So you take that and then you get into bed. Okay, get yourself into a schedule, mm -hmm. for example. So, into bed 22 hours, whether you're feeling tired or not, don't wait until just now. Just force you, yourself. Just force yourself. Get into bed and just lie there. Shut your eyes, shut off your mind. Stop thinking. Stop thinking. <laughs> which is quite difficult. I like that. <laughs> Stop thinking for at least a few hours and then you fall asleep. So, even if you are not feeling sleepy, don't get out of bed. Yeah. Don't go wandering around the house, don't go to the kitchen, don't get up unless you need maybe to use the bathroom. But stay in bed until the time, maybe if you tell yourself you're going to be in bed till 5 or 6 a.m., that's the time that you should get up. So your body will eventually get used to that because mm. you need sleep. There are certain health complications that are going to come about. And I was actually about to get to that. So does insomnia cause some serious health complications? Of course. Conditions? Apart from being unproductive during the day because obviously you're sluggish, you're dozing. Mm. <laughs> you know, you might end up... <laughs> having, looking like a raccoon. <laughs> you might end up, you know, causing an accident along the road if you're driving because you start dozing. It can actually also affect your sleep, uh, your skin. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have red eyes. Your skin will get blemishes. Mm. Okay then it can actually cause um, a spike in your blood pressure as well as sugar levels because your body is not resting enough mm. for the metabolic process to take place. So there are other things in the long run. Of course, the more you're lacking sleep, the more anxious you become. So that can also be another health factor that will come about. Mm. So sleep hours should be eight. Yes, six to eight hours for an adult. So for a person like me who sleeps after midnight, uh, so you said I should avoid sleeping yeah. after midnight. Yes, but of course with you I know your lifestyle because you're working late. And the, yeah. By the time you're getting home, it's really late. And I'm eating late. Yeah, that's, and also that's another a very thing. bad habit. That's also another very bad habit because you need to eat at least three hours before you go to bed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that the food has enough time to digest. Because usually, sometimes when you're sleep, do you know why we don't get enough? Um, even if we have had a good night's sleep, sometimes we wake up feeling very tired. Mm -hmm. It's because we've had a very heavy meal before going to bed. Mm -hmm. okay? And then instead of the body now working on other systems, for example, regenerating your kidney, your liver, and whatever, it's spending all that time digesting your food. Mm -hmm. So by the time you're waking up, you're feeling tired. But ne next to the I'm but I'm both in my Because I'm feeling so tired. Yeah. But it's because of what we need to do. We need to develop habits that are going to give us restful sleep mm. so alcohol is another contributing factor right? alcohol tobacco nicotine all of those because they're mm. stimulating beverages i know certain people and i'm sure maybe you are one of them who believes that a glass of wine will relax you and help you to sleep they say just a glass just a glass mm. but then there are people who develop a habit of making sure they get drunk before they go to bed because mm. they feel if they've not i know taken so alcohol, many actually. yeah if they feel that like if they've not taken alcohol they're not going to sleep so they're suffering from insomnia but they're not looking at the underlying cause of the condition they just believe that by taking alcohol um going to bed drunk or high mm. they're going to sleep going not to sleep. knowing that the minute the alcohol comes out of their system they're going to wake up and then now they're battling yeah. with <laughs> 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 lack of sleep naturally mm -hmm. and then they're also struggling now with the hangover, with the hangover. yeah so in the long run it piles up yeah so um is there any type of diet that a person suffering from insomnia should adopt of course, avoid caffeine, number one. Avoid heavy meals that comprise of red meat, especially in the evening. Mm, there we go. Yes. Right. Eat three hours or so, two to three hours before you go to bed. Mm. So your evening meal should actually be your smallest meal if you're suffering from insomnia. We do it the other way around. We have breakfast, which is moderate. Maybe we have tea and bread or whatever, an egg, a bit of bacon or whatnot. Then we have a lunch. We want to be posh, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. out and about in town. Then supper no but chiwari. Mm. Okay. So if you're a fan of shima, rather have it for breakfast or have it for lunch. So that your evening meal is light and you find that you have a better sleep. 
Okay, so let's get back to those products that we get to find mm. at Dynalab. Yeah. Um, yeah, just run us through some of those products that one can take in case they have this condition. Yeah. So um, when you're failing to sleep, your body also goes into toxic shock and produces a lot of toxins in the body. So a good way of uh, removing that while you're getting into this nice pattern of getting rid of the insomnia, you can take the chlorophyll, which we have here, which is a powerful, powerful cleanser. Okay. Um, this is not a cleanser that's going to have you running back and forth. Okay. It's just going to clean your body system, open up your cells, um, enhance your metabolism while um, stimulating your body functions mm -hmm. all right then we have the mangosteen which is filled and loaded with vitamins and minerals it's one of our nutritional supplements but it's also an immune booster so that's a nice thing that you can take it's a mangosteen juice but you don't need you to do that take it um the way it is mm -hmm. so this is also really good for people with heart conditions liver problems eye problems like glaucoma or cataract they can use that as well then of course we have the mighty noni juice the eye noni di noni so this is a powerhouse supplement i call it a powerhouse supplement it is made from a malaysian mulberry mm. you know mulberries mm -hmm. in zambia Maruben. Maruben. <laughs> Maruben. <laughs> Maruben. Like so this good. is made from a malaysian mulberry okay, okay. it's there on the okay, i don't know I if, can can, see yeah, if you can see it yeah. so this is the mighty powerhouse of supplements because it also apart from boosting your immunity it helps to isolate cancer cells mm. okay um, so it's good for people maybe who are suffering from things to do with prostate enlargement prostate cancer cervical cancer breast cancer you know there's a scourge of that now going on I actually would advise everybody before the year ends go for a checkup Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm challenging you. Hope, I will as well. I know you breast do. cancer, cervical cancer before the end of the year. Let's get checked so that we begin the new year on uh, a good note. And Most get of some noni as well. Yes, and get some noni. Most of these conditions can actually be treated if they're discovered early. Mm -hmm. The reason why people are dying from these conditions is because they wait. Things like cancer, once you actually chances are if you leave it too late and it's discovered because maybe you're not feeling too well it's already at a advanced so, yeah. stage and cancer spreads very very quickly so um i'm not saying if you suspect that you have cancer take the noni but do take the noni all the same mm, it also helps screening yes, well. the screening the noni also helps with um calming the mind okay so it's a very good product for those who might be suffering from insomnia we have the ganoderma coffee that can be taken which is the gano chocolate it's like a nice hot chocolate drink mm -hmm. as well as the president's choice that can be taken from people who might be suffering from insomnia nice so are there other uh, any other products or services um that you know one can find at dynalab of course we also do a full body checkup or analysis Okay. okay. Maybe we should do that with you one of these in one of these shows. So mm -hmm. we do it live and we analyze your body. Yeah, yeah. Please, oh, you'll Just find a see. lot. <laughs> yeah. Just to see what is going on, and of course, we offer full consultations. I know a lot of people are very um, skeptical about taking natural or herbal supplements, but we actually offer you a service where we can sit down one on one, okay, doing a consultation. Mm -hmm. We find out what your health concerns are, and then we can come up with a regimen or regime of supplements that you should take and how long you should take before you don't necessarily have to wait to be ill even if you're just lacking in a bit of energy that's the bell that's ringing mm. okay if you're failing to sleep or you have insomnia that's a bell that's going off to say that something is going on with your body so start taking the supplements now and don't wait until you're ill mm. so Dora I know we get to see so many you know other products on the market mm -hmm. My grandma as well will come to me and yes. bring something to me, take it. Um, what makes Dynalab products different, you know, from these other products? Apart from being really tasty, okay. Oh because yeah, usually... oh like the coffee, the one I had last time. I yeah. keep talking about it. That cassip fatima. The cassip, yeah, very nice. Cassip fatima. Mm -hmm. So apart from them having really good taste, these are good quality products that have been on the market from as far back as 1981. Okay, so this is quality that you can trust. So that's like 40, about 40 years in the yeah, game. Yeah, right? 40 years in the game, you know. So um, this is good quality that you can trust. They're certified, okay, through. Zamra, food and drug, so you know that you're getting a product that is trusted. There are a lot of people right now who are selling products that are not even registered mm. and are causing people all sorts of side effects. Mostly doctors will tell you to avoid supplements because they don't know how they're going to react on your liver, mm. on your kidney. They might actually
actually enhance your sickness so that that's what they tell us which is true certain products you find around the corner ah kuliba mai vaja kuli satu jetu tuk makongo yeah you don't know what is in that but for us when you take this product we can actually run you through to tell you like this is a b c d like i just told you this is like a malaysia mulberry mm -hmm. okay this is a mango it's a fruit so mm -hmm. basically when you're taking dynana products you're taking fruits and vegetables that have the vitamins that you're not going to find in other foods and your body cannot process them even if you had to sit with a whole kilo or two of for example spinach or rape you're not going to get that so this is good quality product that you can actually trust all right, so now let's get to find out where to find these products mm -hmm. if one wants to get his or her hands on any of these products that we've looked at today and you know so many more that are you know yes inside we do space. have a lot more products like a lot our product range is amazing cleansing and detoxifying nutritional supplements immune booster mental physical and sexual health you know we've got cosmetics we have healthy water we have the di Grow organic fertilizer as well that we have so you can find these products um in a dino lab shop near you Livingston, we are there, we're in Choma, we are in Monze, we are in uh, Kabwen, Dola, Kitwe, we are as far as Sulwezi, Chipata, Kasama, Mansa, Mongu, and of course our beautiful outlets in Lusaka, you find us along Cairo Road at Limbe Mall, downtown shopping centre along Kafir Road as well as Canela Building, we are in Rhodes Park along Joseph Mungu Road for people in the surrounding areas, and then of course at Arcades and the newly opened shop at Loanika Mall. All right, so thank you so much for joining us. That's all we had for today. And today we were looking at something very interesting, something that I know so many people are suffering from. It's it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not a disease, it's a condition. It's right? a condition. It's a condition. It's a condition. So condition. this is lack of sleep mm -hmm. and we're looking at insomnia. And so Dora was just letting us know what it is, uh, some of the causes, some of the common symptoms, how to avoid it. And of course, getting down to those products that you get to find at Dynamite lab that can help you treat uh, insomnia so I hope you've learned something I have actually learned a lot and so I will work on my sleeping times I know you mentioned yes. um, sleep patterns, eating habits as yes. well Wait certain things before you go to bed. I will, I will avoid two glasses of wine. Yes. Rather take a gun of chocolate. I'll take the, the chocolate the coffee. <laughs> all right, so this is what the Perfect Health Show is all about because we want a healthy you. Thank you so much for joining us. This is all we had for today. Every happy and profit-oriented farmer knows that bumper harvests come from a combination of workable solutions. We, as Dynalab International Zambia Limited, bring to you sustainable and cost-effective proven smart innovations of our time that seek to solve challenging equations of farming as a business. If you have been looking for products that significantly increase crop yields, reduce cold stress, enhance crop growth and productivity, enhance flowering and fruiting, improves crop immunity, depress soil bone diseases, prolongs shelf life of vegetables, fruits and cut flowers, and improves soils, DI Grow Foliar Fertilizer speaks to all these and is all every farmer needs. For more details, contact The Agronomist on 0977 40 5531 or front office on 0211 232377 or visit Dynalab main office at plot number 26, Joseph Muller Road, Roadsback, Lusaka. Achieve a bumper harvest with DI Grow.